Welcome to my budget deck channel where I try to make decks as cheap and playable as possible. So if this is something you've been into, then why not subscribe? So you have probably pulled one of these cards in your booster pack opening and uh, you want to know what you can do with this deck because it's not really played all that much. Uh, you don't really see it that often and uh, it's a bit wanky, it's a bit strange and it's probably not that good. But let me say you can at least do something with this deck and yes for all the people that are subscribed for a longer time know that you really get your money's worth out of uh, your points with Utopia Double and Utopia because I use this basically in every rank 4 deck and I do lots of rank 4 decks. First of all because it's quite easy to do, second of all I just really like it since it's out so why not use this one. And uh, I think this is what this deck is really good for. It's making rank fours and stalling your opponent a bit to just punch them very hard in the face with Utopia Double. And let's start right off with the card by card. We run a triple evil swarm heliotrope. You technically could run it at two. It wouldn't hurt you too much, but you have a way of putting it back into the deck. So in theory, three is fine. Uh, it's an okay beater, I wanna say, if uh, you slow down the game so much that this kind of stuff matters. Um, you can obviously uh, reduce this card to two if you like, if you feel like it clogs up your hand too often, if it breaks too much, then put this down to two. We have Ron Steel Swarm Sting, this is the only Steel Swarm card in this deck, it's basically an Evil Swarm deck, but this specific card, and since you can search them because they're all connected, they all like refer to Ool Swarm uh, things on their cards, uh, this card can be situationally okay if you search it, if you have another way to like normal summon it, then um, go into your link monster. When this card is linked off, you can target one face up ritual fusion or synchro monster on the field and destroy that target. It's not great removal, it's very outdated at this point, but it can still work to like get certain negates out like uh, the floor, for example. And since this card uh, triggers when it's uh, sent to the graveyard, so it's not a field anymore, you don't lose anything off of uh, getting that negated. If your opponent wants to protect their uh, Baron the floor, for example, then uh, that can be quite nice. So I quite like this card. Other than that, it's okay, it doesn't really do that much. Its attack value is okay for level 4 monster actually, so I decided to run set 1 because it's searchable. Same with Zahak, uh, you could run it into a special summon level 5 for higher monsters. Sometimes uh, this is the only card you have going first, so you could set it and hope your opponent destroys it with the card effect. Um, but the problem is you can't set it because it's face up, uh, so you have to actually normal summon it. You're, it's televised, it's one of the worst uh, evil swarms. Um, I realized this whole like, oh yeah, it has to be face up doing one of my duels. I was like, oh, that uh, does not sound that good, but it's okay going second. You could run it into your opponent's card. You could redo it because you can technically summon back out of the graveyard, kind of with uh, workarounds uh, with Kirkion, for example. So it's not terrible. Its attack value also is okay. So you could run it one, but this would be one of the cards to cut. Back in the days, it was a lot better, but these days it is not that good anymore. One card that I run that possibly not a lot of people would be running, but I do because I do not run any other spell trap removal, and this is kind of a loopable with Kirkion. So if you're playing against like a grindy back row heavy deck, having one of this actually comes in handy from time to time. So uh, I would recommend running one, but you don't have to if you feel like you don't need it. You could also put just put a card in that actually does a back row removal, but I felt like this card was still better than like Mystical Space Typhoon or uh, the whole banishing Cosmic Cyclone kind of thing. So uh, because it's searchable at least, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, same for O-Lantern, this is probably one of the cards you could cut. Sometimes this can be quite nice monster removal if you have no other way of going into anything else but this card, and it's already that much of a grind game that if you get rid of your opponent's monster, this card alone will like make you survive multiple turns uh, in a row basically, then this card can be good because sometimes you don't have a way to go into rank fours or into extra deck monsters because uh, you only will have one monster and you might not have the card that uh, swaps them out and searches stuff. So this card can be useful, but this would also be one of the cards to cut. You see, most of the evil swarm or the, the ill swarm monsters aren't actually that great. It is what it is. I kind of wanted to get the monster count uh, up to round about this. So I felt like why not run one of them? That's one of the less bad ones. Talking about less bad ones, Evil Swarm Mandragora is nice going second. It doesn't do all that much going first, but add another Evil Swarm name to your deck, which helps with Evil Swarm Caster. This card is uh, it's quite good. Um, it's a bit annoying because uh, the effect is kind of a lingering effect, so you don't have to activate it, but 
it only works during the turn this card was normal summoned. So even if you like summon it out of the graveyard with stuff like Monster Reborn, it's not gonna work, which is very, very, very upsetting. So I didn't uh, bother running stuff like Monster Reborn in the first place. Um, you could if you wanted to, but uh, it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, and also like if you summon out other kind of special summon effects, um, for example, with your Link Monster, then also this effect won't work which is a bit annoying in my opinion, but usually it doesn't matter all that much, but there might be scenarios where this is a problematic thing. Evil Swarm Kirkion, one of the playmakers of the deck. I tried running this card at two at first, but I realized you kind of do want to see this, in, especially in the grind game, as often as possible, and you will cycle through them a bit because this deck seems like it would be a quick at finishing games, but it's not. Um, sometimes uh, your opponent is actually quite okay at playing around your Utopia WOTK. So you kind of need this card as much as possible to get into rank fours as much as possible. So uh, three, I think, is necessary in this deck. You don't have to run Thunderbird though, because Thunderbird basically just stalls like one level four monster for a turn. I, f I felt like it didn't do all that much and for super rare, um, you did not have to include this. And one of my favorite rank four kind of cards, ZS Armed Sage. Sadly, this card is not dark, so you cannot go into certain specific things. It's mainly good for the grind game, for going into stuff like Utopia Double. If you want to add Baguska to your deck, this card would also be quite good going first, or Tornado Dragon or whatever Floodgate uh, Abyss Dweller that you can think of. You could swap this card with uh, Raid Raptor Strangle Lanius if you like, then you can go into all your, rank, uh, all your dark monsters, but then you can't go into Utopia Double anymore with it, so there's a bit of a give and take with this. Um, I decided Arm Sage from testing felt a lot better than uh, the Lanius card, but you have to decide for yourself. You could completely cut this and play something else, but uh, I felt like this card actually is neat because you rarely will have um, more monsters on board than the le uh, one level four. Plus this card also works quite well in conjunction with your uh, Steel Swarm, because if you normal summon um, Caster, you have another Evil Swarm in your hand and you have Armed Sage in your hand, Normal Summon Caster, Special Summon Armed Sage under um, Steel Swarm Origin to get its effect, basically, uh, in the Link Arrows, and then go with uh, Normal Summon your other Evil Swarm and go into Steel Swarm Origin, then you already have one monster underneath, so the whole uh, Rig, um, Torrential Tribute kind of combo would work and blowing up your opponent's field will net you some monsters then, um, which is quite nice. So I felt like this was uh, a neat way to include it, plus it's searchable reinforcement of the army, so technically you could cut it by one if you really feel like you don't like it all that much. Reinforcement of the army searches your caster mainly, but could also search you in a level four extender, so that is nice. Unexpected die, getting out Evil Swarm Heliotrope, another way to go into rank fours or into your Steel Swarm Origin if you like. Uh, Forbidden Chalice, good cards to uh, disrupt your opponent and also good card going second uh, spell especially for the fact that it's a budget card so I definitely include this one one double or nothing because you need it for your OTK one infestation pandemic you technically could run to but I think since it is searchable with Ophion I kind of didn't like drawing into it uh, without Ophion because I don't really have many other monsters that I want to be protecting with this so yeah, it can help you not get Rageki'd and uh, Lightning Stormed and whatnot, so this is quite a neat card. Well, it doesn't save your back row, but if uh, they play a deck that needs level 5 or higher monsters, I will come back to this in a second, then it can protect you quite well. So this can be very neat, so I would definitely run at least at 1. Torrential Tribute uh, works with Steel Swarm Origin to blow up your opponent's field and net some uh, special summons from your deck. Also, it's a very good card going first uh, to just keep your opponent off of resources and uh, yeah make them pass turns especially if you can protect your own monster from uh, from it so that is quite nice one infestation terminus i tried this card at three at one point but what i didn't like about this is it has two negative points in my opinion for me first of all you banish your ill swarm monster which is so annoying because you kind of want them in the graveyard for kirkion because you need two monsters in the graveyard for kirkion one to banish and the other one to add back to your hand so uh, banishing them instead of tributing, uh, tributing them, tributing them, geez, um, is uh, a lot worse. And also returning cards to the hand instead of uh, I don't know destroying them or do whatever with them, shuffling them back into the deck is uh, also not as good. So I feel like this card is searchable and sometimes can be helpful, but I didn't overly like it. So running at one is fine. You could possibly run it at higher numbers, or you could completely cut it if you like. Uh, that is up to you. 
one controversial card, Wall of Disruption. It is it's good it's it's like you know how sometimes in the lower ranks you play against people that just like shove like one or two mirror forces in the deck and just really surprise you with it because you think nobody plays this card and nobody cares um and this card specifically helps you otking with utopia double so i did include it but obviously if you have hand traps if you have anything that is more competent than this card you can definitely switch this card out but it can uh cut your it can catch your opponent very much off guard and if they then don't link off the monsters that they attacked with then uh, you will be able to otk the next turn most likely but uh, it, it, the good thing is the monsters stay on board the bad thing is the monsters stay on board it's, it's a very hard uh, to grasp concept in the sense because you kind of want the monsters to stay on board because otherwise you can't utopia double otk but also when they stay on board they still might have like negates or stuff that they can do so Ah, mm, give and take. I wouldn't uh, bank too much on this card. Cards you could also play Blind Obliteration. It's a bit like Torrential Tribute, but for monsters that have levels and ranks. So, yeah, could be played. Um, Titan Outsider is a card that is very, very powerful in this deck because it reduces your opponent's attack points uh, of the monster and also uh, negates the effect of extra deck monsters, so stops Link plays, for example, and any kind of other stuff. What you could be running is there can be only one. Uh, works quite well with this deck. The only thing that sometimes is a bit iffy is that Caster is a warrior and Utopia Double is a warrior, so this is a bit annoying. But other than that, uh, as you can see, they are all different kinds of um, types, so you could technically run there can be only one, which would be a lot stronger probably than Wall of Disruption. Next up, Lost Wind, very good in the grind game. Also halves your opponent's special summon monsters attacks, which will put it under the threshold of 2000, which you need to uh, OTK with your trophy or double. So this is quite neat. Another card that disrupts, but stuff like uh, Infinite Impermanence and Ash Blossom stuff is just a lot better, but this card is free and it's an effect negate, so it can shut your opponent down a bit. I like this card, but obviously there's better cards. I don't have to tell you that. One Solemn Judgment, because most people will have it from the master packs from the start. And this card protects your back row, so uh, yes, that's quite important. Um, infestation, infection, one at one. Some people run out more, I think, but I didn't feel like I want to really draw into it. Sometimes it's nice if you can go into Ophion and you already have this card, then you can uh, search an infestation pandemic without having a bad conscience, because sometimes I'd rather search this card because it does more for me, but I know I kind of have to search pandemic because pandemic uh, protects me from uh, spell trap card removal, which is more important. But this card can basically uh, get you any one of your evil swarm or ill swarm monsters out of your deck, which is quite nice. Yes, you have to put one back, but that usually shouldn't be a problem. This is why we run a bit of a higher monster card than most decks, because I kind of like the search effect, um, but it's not necessary, necessary. If you have these cards, Nibiru is a good hand trap to play in this deck, obviously Maxi. But Maxi, only if you run other hand traps, other than that, you'll just draw 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 especially because this deck wants to go first then your opponent just otks you because you don't have you didn't draw into any other card that could stop your opponent's plays so uh, max c can be nice either if you go in second or if you run other hand traps just running max c while going first is sometimes not that great obviously it can be very great if your opponent can't finish you but if they can then this card is kind of wasted um that's generally the idea of uh, max e rescue rabbit a good card to go into your rank force or into your link monster if you like because uh, it works with heliotrope but this card is not cheap and if it gets disrupted you stand there buck naked so uh, we will not do this for the extra deck uh, some suggestions arc rebellion exis dragon plus uh, raiders knight that's how you summon it you need two level four dark monsters um it's kind of like a utopia double but your opponent already needs to have specific stuff on board because like against the attack of all the monsters and the attacks can be quite nice in this deck as well but then it wouldn't work so well with stuff like lost but world disruption because i think it doesn't gain the original attack um i'm not i'm not 100 oh yeah it, it does gain the original attack so that's okay still works then uh, i didn't try it out obviously i just um saw that you could do this because you have run lots of level four darks and this is one of the other ways to otk with this kind of deck so that's neat so you could splash it in if you like but it costs the same as utopia double i guess you don't have to run um double or nothing but technically your opponent needs more of a setup for this to be an otk than uh for utopia double baguska is a good card if you have any of the other evil swarm cards exit and excite on knight as a, a nice card ouroboros can be a nice card just not that easy to summon um the hammer sounds like a nice card but you need uh, Ill Swarm Monsters to summon it, and you need to discard another one from your hand. So you need like three Ill Swarm Monsters in your hand, basically. 
and go second kind of anti opponent doesn't have negate it's yeah it sounds better than it is it can be really nice especially in the grind game so if you have it put it in but i wouldn't say you need this card for this deck to function same for uh, steel some roach nice card but you really don't need it for the extra deck cards that would run utopia and utopia double uh, evil swarm nightmare it's a good card going first against some decks uh thanatos can be nice has an okay attack value for a rank four so you could run it uh, Ophion, one of the best cards, and look at that attack value. This card is insane uh, already for having 2550 attack um, for rank 4 that has a very good effect. It's Floodgate, level 5 or higher monsters cannot be special summoned, so that's very good. And you can search one infestation spell trap card, but beware if this card has Xyz material, um, the Floodgate works. So if you do the second search, this effect becomes useless. Could still link it off then, but keep that in mind, which works if you're playing against decks that don't want to summon uh, level 5 or higher monsters um, but some decks these days actually want to so uh, it's not too bad we could run black ship not great but it's cheap uh, double heartland draco because you can attack directly which makes it be able to be used for zeus um, which is quite nice uh, so if this card gets negated i'd like to have a second one because there's not that much cheap rank for stuff anyway so this is quite nice the super quantum mech beast could be nice um, if you have certain cards that cannot be destroyed but you can flip them over for example Sophiel gives that back to the, uh, your opponent's hand which is quite nice Zeus obviously very good in a rank 4 deck um, yeah blow up your opponent's board can never be too bad a steel Storm origin is a card that's a bit of a hit or miss sometimes this card can be really 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 powerful and sometimes this card is really 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 underwhelming so <laughs> You'll, you'll have to like the more often you play this deck the more you will get a feel of when to summon this card and when to go for a rank form which you need to transfer so just a fun way of annoying your opponent sometimes at the cheap link too and if you get the steel swarm effect of at least one link four that's maybe a bit better but obviously run the good ones if you have them that's all for the deck profile hope you enjoyed it but most importantly i hope you have a good day